Hi, welcome to another exciting edition of Martyrs of Law here on XTV GH on YouTube and Explore TV GH on Facebook. Share this with friends, colleagues, and others to enjoy this entertaining and most informative program called Martyrs of Law. Today, we are discussing domestic violence. I've had a lot of your comments. We've got a lot of questions. So we'll discuss this topic, which is Tony and it's happening in a lot of the homes and a lot of workplaces that we find ourselves. Let's go for a spot of commercial break. This program is brought to you by Peg Enterprise. Call us on 0240-533-097. 0240-533-097 for your delicious pastries, cookies and drinks. Locate Peg Enterprise near Kiki House in Ho. Welcome back. So today we are discussing domestic violence. Are you being abused? Physically? Emotionally? Economically? Yes, you are wondering, how can I be abused economically? Yes. Under the Domestic Violence Act 2007, Act 732, you can be abused in various forms. We will take these abuses systematically and discuss them. The first one, which is obvious to a lot of you, is physical abuse. And that physical abuse may be physical assault or any physical harm or any act that constitutes harm under the criminal offenses of Ghana. Indeed, when you are in any form of domestic relationship, be it a boyfriend-girlfriend relationship or any relationship akin to a family relationship or actual family relationship or you have been formally married, you have married people who are formally not together or you have been separated, any of those conditions which come which exist or any form of abuse will constitute domestic violence. The other one is emotional psychological abuse yes indeed you can abuse somebody emotionally and psychologically and that is making the person constantly feeling depressed or putting the person in a state where the person feels humiliated so for example if you constantly talk about somebody's body somebody's uh, uh, stature to the extent that the person feels unhappy maybe talking about a person's color the person's body size or body shaming the person you are committing the domestic violence offense if you are in that kind of relationship with the person of being family relationship or a boyfriend girlfriend relationship or any relationship that is akin to a family relationship whether you have been you are still together or you have been separated that is emotional that is psychological abuse then there's also sexual abuse now if you subject anybody to any sexual act without the person's consent or you force the person to engage in any form of sexual act then you would have been commi committing the offense of sexual abuse in a domestic violence setting there's also what we call sexual harassment so when you persistently engage somebody in a sexual act or you harass the person sexually touch the person's body touch any part of the person's bo body which is you are not required or you are not allowed to do then you would have been engaged in sexual harassment or persistently and consistently chasing that person proposing love to the person when the person has told you that i do not want your love or any other thing like that then you would have been harassing the person the next one we talk about is economic abuse yes indeed you can commit economic abuse by depriving someone of resources he or she is entitled to or threatening that person that you deprive the person of that resource for example, if your wife is entitled to an amount of money or she's gotten her salary and you decide to take hold of that amount of money or you hide that amount of money, then you're depriving the person of the resources that the person needs. If you're supposed also to provide money for maintenance of the house and you intentionally deny the person that money or that resources, you are committing an economic abuse. Are you doing any of these things? do you want to change from them yes you would better do the change now because any form of abuse in this regard can be reported at the domestic violence victim and support unit now when you do such report they will invite the said person who has been accused over to their station and they will conduct an investigation 
So in doing the investigation, they would establish whether indeed that abuse is going on. Please do not shy away from making a report to the police. The Domestic Violence Victim Support Unit, that's what we refer to as DOFSU. So the abuse may be a man abusing a woman, or a woman abusing a man, or a father abusing her daughter, or a mother abusing the daughter or a son, or it could be vice versa. A child may be abusing the parents in the domestic setting, or somebody who stays in the same vicinity, or somebody who stays in the same house may also be abusing you. So domestic violence should not be countenanced. Anytime you meet anything like this, you need to report to the Domestic Violence Victim Support Unit. They may decide at appropriate time to settle the matter where it is within the purview, their purview to settle. Either than that, they will have to take the matter to court for the court to make a determination. You will want to watch the next edition because it's going to be exciting for you to learn all these issues. Join us on XTVGH on YouTube and Explore TVGH on Facebook. Thank you so much for watching and share this with a friend. It might be necessary. Bye bye. To support this program, contact XTV on 024-606-1095 or 050-836-4159 or send us an email to info at stvgh.com.